Hey guys, I am here today to give you a few recommendations of my favorite female-friendly TV shows. There are a lot of really good male-centric TV shows out there who don't have a lot of women in its cast or sometimes just uses them as plot devices or a way to create man pain. And while those are nice once in a while, I, as a woman, kind of like watching TV shows where I'm included as part of the storyline. It's human nature to want to watch shows where people like you are represented. So I have a list of TV shows here that I personally love. Shows that have just a really good variety, like shows that have queer representation, good representation of women, and representation of people of color. So just a generally diverse cast that don't use those characters just for plot devices. The first one is Orphan Black. Here is a show that that is all about the ladies. In fact, one actress plays more than half of the cast. She's that talented. It's a hard-hitting, intense sci-fi show where the women are the main characters. Now, if you know anything about sci-fi, is that it's mostly a male-dominated genre in TV, movie, and books. Not only that, but a girl-girl romance is the main romantic focus of this show. There are some problematic elements to this show, such as one of the main female characters who is white has dreadlocks, and that's a little iffy. And then there's also Felix, who is kind of the gay best friend, but he does end up being a large part of the story, so he is multi-layered. However, it is just such a great plot, and I am so excited that there's finally a really intense sci-fi drama that is focused on women. The next one is Parks and Recreation, which is a little obvious since it's been lauded as one of the best shows on television because of its multi-layered characters. Leslie Nope is one of the most kick-ass characters on TV right now, but she's not a crime fighter or a warrior in the literal sense of the word. She is so excited about her job in the local government. She loves her job, she loves life, she loves her friends. She fights for what she loves. It's a show about people who unabashedly love things. The relationships are so pure and all of the friendships are so great, but especially the lady friendships. There's conflicts, of course, like Anne and April having to get over their differences and biases and actually become good friends. Or the episode where April and Donna pick out each other's dog personas and April has to see past all the tropes that Donna represents and get to her as a person. And of course we have Anne and Leslie's friendship, which is just the cutest and totally rock solid. It is definitely a very female friendly and a very nerd friendly TV show. The next one is Orange is the New Black. All kinds of women and their stories are told in this show and it really focuses on who they are as people. It is one of the most character driven shows I have ever seen. It takes place in a women's prison where normally prisoner or criminal is their defining traits. And this show takes that and spins it on its head. The cast is primarily women of all shapes and sizes and races and backgrounds. It is probably the most diverse cast I have ever seen and it focuses on women and their issues and the women's prison systems and it gets into the politics and it gets into sexual politics and there's just so much going on. And we finally have a release date for season two, June 6th, oh yeah. The next is Brooklyn Nine-Nine and I did not think I would end up loving the show as much as I do. It stars Andy Samberg as his typical man-child character, but it also has a very diverse cast. The police captain is a gay black man and they actually acknowledge that and his struggles he went through to get where he is and the discrimination he still faces. The obsessed nice guy who has unrealistic views of relationships doesn't get the girl and actually learns from his mistakes. Female characters are shown as equals to their male counterparts, but they don't totally ignore the discrimination that they face being a female in the police force. Secretary who takes nobody's shit 
is a large part of the show and is never sexualized. This is another one of those shows that shows normal people who love their normal jobs and are super excited to get up in the morning. The next is Lost Girl, and this show is super cheesy, as you can tell by the Netflix summary, which is... Discovering she's a succubus who sustains herself by feeding on the sexual energy of humans, seductive Bo sets out on a journey to understand herself. So right off the bat, you know it's going to be sexy, but it's also a really awesome supernatural crime detective show. What's great about this show is that it kicks slut shaming in its teeth. Bo uses her powers, which she gets from the sexual chi of others, for good. She's basically a superhero who has lots of awesome sex and then goes and fights crime. Another huge aspect of this show is the female friendships. Bo and Kenzie are like the ultimate best friend duo. Their love for each other is constantly one-upping the romantic love in this show. It demonstrates that you can pick your family and they'll be just as strong as if you were blood related to them. Not only that, but the main character is canonly bisexual as is a large portion of the cast of characters. It is very much the norm in this show to love whoever you want to love, touch whoever's bits you want to touch with consent. So that is all I have for you guys today. Please give me your female-friendly TV show recommendations down below and anything else you want to tell me if you don't agree with me or something like that and I will see you guys next time. Bye!